And I'm joined first by Chinmay. Uh, Chinmay, thank you for joining me. Why did you decide to tag the Chief Minister and speak up so strongly now? You had first raised these allegations during the 2018 Me Too movement. Now you've tagged MK Stalin and you've asked him to take cognizance and investigate. Uh, what pushed you to question the Chief Minister this time? I have, um, I mean, thank you very much, Mr. Goswami, for having me on the show. Um, this is also not the first time that I have tagged uh, the Chief Minister. I tagged the previous uh, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu as well. I have tagged so many politicians on, in Tamil Nadu on why they are continuing to support and platform uh, Mr. Vairamuthu, despite over 17 women naming him. Um, the man who um, banned me actually uh, you may happen to mention that i face a shadow ban but i actually face a ban on paper uh, i have an official ban from working in the tamil film industry uh, and this has been uh, brought into force by the the president of the dubbing union who is in the bjp i just need to state facts as they are so i happen to be mentioning that um, in my my entire solidarity is with the um, wrestlers and the justice is should be served and it should be on the side of the truth and I um, I am with my sisters right there uh, who are protesting at this point in time I also happen to mention to the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu Mr. Stalin that I, it's that his actions of supporting the wrestlers are praiseworthy and the wrestlers need all the support that they need right now and I also happen to mention that it has been five years since the Me Too movement and uh, not ICCs and boxer units have not been set up in the industry, not in the media houses, not in TV channels and there are no systems in place for women and children to safely report in a safe um, space, in a non-judgmental space, in a non-terrifying uh, space uh, in case of sexual harassment if, and for all genders and I happen to mention that the rules cannot be different for uh, Bridge Bhushan and it cannot be different for the poet who is uh, is very publicly known to be uh, the friend and he has supporters from all over the world who uh, share their ideologies and I have always constantly questioned them on why is it that just because I, they have, they and they also continue to, so many of them continue to say that I'm the only one who named him, whereas over 17 women have named him. I keep repeating, I keep repeating, I've been constantly repeating for the past five years. This particular long tweet or a letter of sorts on Twitter to the uh, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu has caught attention. That's no, what but is. you say that you've got a ban. Can you, I mean, for people not acquainted with the details of this case, what is the specific charge against... Uh, this gentleman, the 69-year-old man called uh, Vairamuttu, the lyricist. What is the specific charge? Mr. Vairamuttu? Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he specifically uh, molested me and he has also sexually harassed and misbehaved with a lot of girls, uh, even younger than 18. And uh, they and there have been a lot of people who have said that this man is like this, including Rehman's uh, sister Rehana, ma'am, who had uh, publicly in an interview said in 2018 that this man is like that. He's a great man, but there's nothing that w one can do about it. There have been others who have on video from a couple of others from the industry who have spoken saying that they have seen him uh, misbehave with somebody in front of their eyes, and what they could do is just safely take the girl away. I am one of the three women who has spoken out in public. Uh, on camera that this man has uh, misbehaved with us. One of the other women who named him has had her entire career ruined only because she would not give in to his demands and he made sure that she could not sing for the rest of her life. And I happen to also question, um, you know, a few days ago, Mr. Kamala Hassan as to uh, this particular lady is a part of her, uh, part of his uh, you know, party now. And Mr. Kamala Hassan happened to platform Mr. Vairamuthu at an event that he had organized and his party, a lot of functionaries were, were present. And I found it really distressing that he would uh, put his own party, uh, you know, member in a position where, you know, she had to be in an event organizing it where her own molester was present. Despite the fact that, uh, which is why I, I mean, it beats me and it baffles me that how the rules are completely different and how none of these uh, big wigs who have what gone about from in this the case you mentioned that someone uh, from mr a. A. man's family herself has been a victim why does mr a. R. Rahman not support you or go public in this no 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 that, that's not what i said no that's not what i said 
I said, I said, uh, Rahman's sister said in an interview that this man is an open secret. So, 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 if her sister said it, then, then have you approached other legendary personalities uh, like Mr. Rahman himself? Have you approached Mr. Kamal Hassan himself? Have you? Uh, why are they quiet when you're being banned? If there, are you saying there's nobody coming out I to answer? support? How can I answer? How can I answer on have that? Have you approached behalf? them, Chinmay? They are all well aware of exactly what's happening. Uh, Why is it that they're everybody is aware? Everybody knows that I have been banned. So DMK says that it's a, you know Mr. Ellen Govan was speaking to a reporter. He said this is a personal problem between two people. Yeah. What do you make of that response? Yes, I'm aware. That's a, that's an interesting stand to take. Uh, it's a very interesting stand to take and a very convenient stand to take. His own uh, son-in-law was named in the Me Too movement by over three women. And uh, it's, uh, I think, the safest response that he can speak. Uh, his son-in-law is an actor. He's been named. A woman came out in public. She gave a press conference and said that this man misbehaved with her. So I, I mean, the, I mean, it's like a can of worms and it's a gift that keeps on giving. But uh, they, which is why I said they will protect their own. It's not, it's not a matter of two individuals. Uh, it's not a personal problem. This man is very close to the establishment and he has sympathizers and he has uh, uh, friends across political parties um, in Tamil Nadu and I think even across the country. He has a lot of power. It is very difficult to name somebody who is a Padma Bhushan awardee, a Sahitya Academy awardee, multiple national awards. And he will, as I already mentioned in an interview earlier, he had the clout to have the uh, sitting CM launch his book um, and that was the kind of power he would wield. How would, how can anybody speak up against a, uh, some, somebody like this and then yeah. there's been so much collective shaming and abuse for not speaking up then, speaking up so late, this why did you come to the wedding, how can you smile with him, how can you yeah. work with him, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Well, we yeah. says viewers if you're watching this tonight, it's a very, you know, it's a, it's a, um, Many people across the rest of the country don't know about your case, Chinmaya, and uh, they don't know that you've been banned for five years. Yeah, and uh, in fact, I asked you that question a bit rhetorically because in November 2022, Vairamuttu had heaped multiple praises on, Tam on Kamal Hassan in the form of a Tamil poem. And Kamal Hassan was profusely thankful to Mr. Vairamuttu for it. And you're correct, I'm sure Mr. Kamal Hassan knows, but probably for him, this is an insignificant issue. I'm only raising that issue in that sense in order to provoke him, hopefully provoke Kamal Hassan into taking a stance on this. But what happened after you put out the tweet? Any responses besides this being picked up in the national actually, media? He has actually gone on to say that uh, no, sorry. Uh, he's actually gone on to say that he respects him. I, but that is, that is the, I think, the tragedy of it all. I have been repeatedly shamed by people inside my own fraternity because it is very difficult to speak up against this man considering the cloud. So I, I understand why it is difficult to, you know, stand with me. And it has been a lone battle. Uh, there, what about there the Tamil some media? There is of sympathy that I do get. I what about the news channels, the print media, the, record, the news media among journalists? Uh, are they campaigning so for you? There's been so much shaming even from um, some sections of uh, uh, local media and it's been it's been very hard, it's been very distressing and of course, you know, to actually fight for my right to work is probably been the worst of it all but yeah, I have to uh, go on. Chinmay, we'll track this, we'll track this because uh, because obviously uh, the DMK has given uh, Mr. Vairamattu a, a platform. He gets support everywhere and for you it's a pretty lone battle. Thank you Chinmay. I shall keep you away from the debate because you've chosen to be away from it. But thank you for that and I'll proceed for now.